Are we alone in the universe? It's an age-old question, it's an inspirational question, and unfortunately it's still a question we can't answer. I understand there are some pretty compelling stories about alien abductions or UFO sightings, but this is not definitive proof, because these stories themselves do not have definitive proof. We cannot answer yes or no to this question because in order to do so we would have to explore every last nook and cranny in the universe. Not an easy feat I assure you. To elaborate on just how difficult and time consuming this would be, let's take the earth as an example. It's that lovely big blue marble we live on. It's our home. Not only is it our home though, and by our I mean humankind, no, it's actually home to over 1.5 million species. And that's just the ones that have been discovered, with thousands of new species being discovered every year. As planets go however, Earth is actually pretty small, being the fourth smallest planet in our solar system, the largest being Jupiter. To put that in perspective, if we hollowed out Jupiter and filled it with multiple Earths, it is estimated that we would hit over 1000 before Jupiter was full. We haven't even fully explored the Earth yet. Just imagine Imagine how long it would take for us to search Jupiter alone. Before we search Jupiter though, we'd have to search all the planets that come before it. One that has been of particular interest to us is Mars. Why? Well, it all comes down to the similarities in composition to Earth. Not to mention the ideal proximity from the Sun. Also some pretty interesting discoveries have recently been made. I'm going to save that one for another video. However, let's say we manage to search all the planets in the solar system, and we will include moons for good measure, and we still don't find life, where do we go next? Well, we would have to leave the solar system. And there's that term again, solar system. Technically it's a star system we call the solar system, named after our sun, which is actually called Sol, the Latin name for sun. So if we were to leave our star system, the solar system, logic would dictate we go to the nearest star system to us, which would be Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri comprising of three stars, a pair of stars called Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B, and another third faint dwarf star called Alpha Centauri C. A and B can actually be seen from the naked eye on Earth. They are so close to each other, however, that they appear as one bright star. The third brightest star in the sky, to be precise. The brightest star in the constellation Centaurus. Alpha Centauri is approximately 4.35 light years away. Doesn't sound far, but in actuality it would take approximately 160,000 years to get there. If we were travelling at a speed of, say, 17,600 miles per hour. Not to mention we would probably run out of fuel long before we got there. But let's say for argument's sake we somehow get there. We explore any planets in the Alpha Centauri system, of which scientists believe they know of at least one. We then have to go to the next closest star system, Bernard's star. Then Wolf 359, then Lalande 21185, Sirius A, Sirius B, and so on. I think it's worth mentioning that all these star systems I've just mentioned are still just in our own galaxy, the Milky Way. The definition of galaxy being a system of millions or billions of stars together with gas and dust held together by gravitational attraction. Let's look at it like an address though. If Earth is our home, then the solar system is the street our home resides on, and the Milky Way is the town or city we live in. Scientists believe the Milky Way consists of at least 200 to 400 billion stars. That's a lot of streets we have to search for life. Okay, but that's stars. We don't live on a star, we live on a planet. How many planets are there in the Milky Way? According to NASA, the number of planets in the Milky Way is around 100 billion. And that's just in the Milky Way alone. But if that's just our galaxy, just how many galaxies are there in the known universe? While numbers vary depending on what scientific body you ask, the accepted number of galaxies in the known universe is about 100 to 200 billion each comprising of millions or billions of stars, each with the potential to have planets orbiting them, and each of these planets with the potential to be just the right distance from their sun or suns to support life. So are we alone in the universe? I don't know, and I will probably never find out in my lifetime. Well, not unless aliens introduce themselves anytime soon, if they haven't already. But do I think there's a chance of at least one of those trillions of planets out there being in just the right place, and to have just the right kind of sun to support life? Hell yes. So even if we can't prove there's life out there, there's certainly a good chance. Thanks for watching.